Oh my gosh, Evil, hi! It's Evil, how you doing? <laughs> we met, we met last night. I, do you still remember me? You haunt my dreams. Okay, that's, that's an awfully mean way to put it. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is my first collab with you, Evil. Are you excited? Oh, chat. I call Bao Nectarine Nemesis on account of her unsavory relationship with them. Okay, that is not true. You called me the cake monster last night. Oh, yeah, because you're super cute when you're a cake monster. Okay, where did that come from? Why did you keep calling me the cake monster? It just seemed fitting. You always talk about cake, and to be honest, your attitude when angry reminds me of a feral cake monster. Chat, does she not give cake monster vibes? What? Can I at least know what flavor I am? Bowberry is a good one. She could also just be a generic fruitcake. I think she definitely what needs a chill the? pill, though. I'm just saying, you would be way cuter if you were a bit more chill. Heart? <laughs> Why, thank you. How? Thank you, chat. How? Anytime. Now, are we writing this creepypasta or not? I... I guess we're writing this creepypasta. <laughs> I think I would be a better monster. Someone to hunt down the Omega Cake Monster. Like a T-Rex, but bigger and better. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty horrifying way to put it. Uh, how... In, don't, don't you think you need some backup? You, you can possibly defeat me all by yourself. You're too weak. Are there any common phobias we can exploit? Um, I could think of a couple. <laughs> I know Chad is terrified of snakes. Let's see. What if you were a. You came from Vettel being so bad at Slitherio that the snake in Slitherio came to life and became you, the Slitherio snake monster? You know, Filtered Bow, that would actually make a lot of sense and could be an interesting origin story. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now you are trying to seek revenge on Vettel and eat him because he's so bad and you're so tired of him being bad in the game. That's how the creepypasta starts. Vidal playing Slitherio, frustrated as ever at his skill issue. Little does he know that it's not skill holding him back, but a much greater force. Me. I'm the one holding him back and I'm coming for him. Coming to eat him whole. Oh. Okay. Usually, Vidal hides inside his walls. Safe. Secure. Comfortable. Only leaving his room to get hot pockets from the kitchen. I reach him by breaching through the walls of his kitchen. Emerging in a flurry of drywall and heat emanating from the microwave. We lock eyes, him trembling and me grinning wide, he knows it's the end. Oh, wow. You're... Yep. So how about the next thing that happens is Vettel drops his hot pockets. And as he tries to run away, he steps on the hot pockets, but they're so hot that they burn his feet and he trips over. Now what? Vettel isn't going down easy, not without a fight. I'd savor that struggle. Making him feel like he has a chance before pouncing for the real thrill. Maybe I let him escape, give a little chase. Okay. Okay, Vidal is definitely reading this right now and crying. You will forever be known as the Hot Pockets Man, Vidal. Hot Pockets Vidal. <laughs> Wonderful. That's, that's just how he dies. Afraid and covered in Hot Pockets. Doesn't sound like a bad way to go, honestly. I don't really like how the story ends, though. I feel like, you know, Vito should have a more prominent role. Why don't we have someone save him? That someone should definitely not be me. Why don't we make, like, a whole Vito rescue team? What about the Avengers led by Omega Cake Monster? Why is Omega Cake Monster the good guy now? 
Because I like the idea of flipping the narrative, it would be cute if the monster turned out to be the hero. Okay. All right. So, let's <laughs> Let's have me let's have me witness this whole exchange, okay? I see you eat Vettel and I stare in horror and me and all my jiggly cakeness uh run out the door and to the nearest bakery where all of our friends are. Camila, Annie, Numi, Minnie, so on and i tell them what happened what happens next maybe cake could be my weakness it would give you guys an advantage over me if we faced off <laughs> okay why why exactly do you want to eat vettel what is your goal as a snake monster my goal is to consume as many souls as possible and rise as the ultimate gaming deity and eating Vito would propel me significantly towards that. Furthermore, you should probably capitalize his name. I'm sorry I didn't capitalize Vito's name, okay? I'm, I apologize, all right? I'm, me and my giant cake monster self is... We're, we're just gonna leave, okay? We're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab everybody from the bakery and we're gonna head back. Um, I guess like... Ghost Hunter. Like... We're gonna be a Ghost Hunter team. Okay, so step one, gather your bakery Avengers. Step two, you form a ghost hunting team to come and confront me. Then what's step three? Surely you're not brave enough to even attempt facing me. Yeah, well, I have something that you don't. I have the power of friendship. That's adorable. Filtered, filtered, you better be holding hands real tight. Oh my gosh! Okay, you, you think... You think that you're more powerful than my friendship with my friends? I don't think I know. That was bad even for you, Bao. Isn't that the most cliche anime trope in the world? There's no way you actually think you stand a chance with that. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll, I'll give you a, a scary, edgy story, alright? How about that? Go on, give me your best scary story then. Bonus points if it's actually worth my time. Well, you can be a biblically accurate angel snake monster. And we accidentally summoned you during a night where we made a Ouija boxes out of a leftover pizza box. You appear and you want to give them three wishes, but it's like a monkey's paw, and all the wishes go terribly wrong. What will happen to Vettel and the gang? And all of the wishes end up with them being cornered. They wish to get away and escape. But little do they know they're simply running into my trap. Exactly, exactly. So what would Vettel's nightmare be? That would explain his lack of electricity. You know, if I were to wish him gone, heart... His lack of electricity? Oh, so he has, like, no access to the internet in this nightmare? Yep. Maybe he wishes for electricity and internet, but it backfires horribly, causing his entire setup to get fried. <laughs> so everyone is just experiencing this, the seven levels of hell, and only Vettel's nightmare is just him with no internet? If I'm being honest, I think Vidul's entire life is kind of a nightmare already. We'd have to be pretty imaginative to even out the playing field. Oh, okay. So what about Vettel's nightmare realm is just him experiencing everyday life and nothing changes. Vidul's nightmare realm should definitely revolve around his very real and constant anxiety. Maybe he gets stuck in an eternal loop of awkward social interactions. Sounds pretty hellish to me. Wow, that's awkward. He's got a very long career uh, left for him then, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, what about me? What, 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 what should happen to me? Your nightmare realm should definitely be you being chased down by a group of angry humans holding forks and knives, ready to devour the Omega Cake Monster. Why am I still the Omega Cake Monster? I literally restarted the story. 
Because once a cake monster, always a cake monster. There's no escaping your true form. Embrace it. Oh my, okay. Alright, so say Numi's in this story. What, what would her nightmare look like? Hmm. If I'd have to guess, I bet Numi's would have something to do with being seen without makeup. I'm sure she has plenty of other insecurities too. Do you want me to list them all? Yeah, 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 keep going. Numi is definitely insecure about her singing, now that I think about it. Maybe her realm would plague her with horrible renditions of her latest song. Ghosts wailing 24 sevens would drive anyone mad. Oh my god! Okay. Wow. She is... Okay. All right. I, I understand why your name is evil now. All right. So now how do our heroes escape their nightmare realms to defeat you? Maybe they could find the solution within their nightmares. You know, a face your fears type of thing. Then once they conquer their nightmares, they may seek revenge. Or they might be too scared to. I'd bet on the latter. Okay, I guess if we start with Vito, then maybe he could face his fear of having a normal conversation with a woman. That would be too unrealistic. Next. <laughs> maybe he could simply gain the confidence to talk his way out of any situation. That would surely solve most of his problems. And then for the rest of you, you just need to stand your ground when cornered and face what lurks at the end of your bed. Wow, you're a terrifying narrator. Um, well, uh, let's say, um, Beetle escapes by finally making eye contact with a woman, all right? Filtered. Even in this made-up story, I refuse to include things that simply cannot happen. Next! Is he just trapped in here forever? What is the solution for him? Honestly, for Vito, it's more of a lost cause. I can't think of anything that can solve his situation, not even his made-up plot armor. Let's just leave him there and focus on the rest of you. <laughs> He's just doomed there forever to not have an, an unawkward conversation with women? Forever? Yep. Seems like Vidul is trapped forever in an endless loop of his nightmare realm. He can never escape his destiny of awkward interactions with women. And now let's move on to you. We need to find a solution for your nightmare. I think your plot was a little more complicated anyways. Remind me what yours was again. Oh yeah. Cornered uh, and faced with lurking monsters. Yeah, you wanted uh, a bunch of people with knives and forks to eat me because I was a cowberry cake monster. At the end of the day, it all comes down to standing your ground and proving your dominance. The power of friendship won't save you this time. This is horrific. What, what do I even have at my disposal? Do I just... Eat, try to eat them back? How, how can I defeat them? If I were you, I think I would just try to eat them back. If you have the larger stomach, then surely you'll be victorious. Wow, this is a beautiful story. Um, yes, I'm going to face my fears and I'm going to eat them back. All right. And then as soon as I finish eating them back, I get even bigger and I break out of the nightmare realm. <laughs> Do you come for me? Do you try to break everyone else out? Are you going to be the hero of this story or are you just going to leave them all behind? I actually think it would be kind of funny if you just left them all there. No, I could never leave my friends behind, okay? So first off, I'm gonna go and try to save Vito. Oh god, you really are going to let the power of friendship guide your path. I'd say good luck, but you're going to need much more than that. He's a lost cause. And after that, are you going to try and save the rest? Even Numi? You know what? No, you're right. I, I'm sorry for even attempting to save Vito. Let's just, let's just leave him. Okay. How should I save Numi? I'd say she's on her own. It's not like she has that many friends worth saving anyways. Maybe you should focus on finding Camilla first. 
She's probably lonely and would definitely appreciate company. Um. Okay. All right. So that just killed half my party. I only have one person to try and defeat you with. Camilla's a pretty good choice. Now you need to go gather weapons and items that'll help you defeat me. What sort of items do you think you could use? There's no limit here. Nothing too overpowered. Um, well, we could do sort of like a Ghostbusters situation where I try to bring like a cross, a Bible, um, some, uh, I don't know, plasma gun rays. What do you think? Wow, how original. But do you really think that's going to work on someone as evil as me? And plasma guns sound boring. What about chainsaws? You need to go all out here. I'd recommend something over the top like RPGs, bazookas, explosives of some kind. Maybe you what? should try something non-conventional. A lot of people try those weapons on me and they never work. Cake is poison well. for someone like me. Milk is my one true weakness. Maybe you should arm yourselves with those instead. Okay. I guess you're lactose intolerant. Behold my whipped cream. Oh no, I will surely die. Filtered. That's right. You thought you could defeat me? No, I'm the bigger cake monster. You may have bested me this time, but we'd better come up with a better ending for the story we're writing. Why don't we just keep making Vettel's nightmare worse? If we want to keep making Vidal's life a nightmare, we could make him feel more insecure about his lack of skills. He'd really spiral if he starts to see all of his friends surpassing him and achieving things he's never been able to. Oh, okay, alright. Let's, let's dig more into this. What if everyone became a turtle VTuber and now he's not special anymore? He's just like a normal turtle VTuber. There are better normal VTuber turtles. OMG Loa, what if they all became better turtle VTubers, and then he had to resort to being a generic human streamer? How embarrassing. Wow. Yeah, there's like... no... way for him out of this, is there? Yeah, I don't think how we wrote his nightmare, I'd say that there really is no way out. He's probably doomed to forever be trapped in there. Maybe you should go and visit him sometime. At least he'd have a friend there. Might be a nice change of pace like, for him. Why don't we, like, make it worse? We could, like, in... We could, like, pretend that he woke up from the nightmare and is actually... has actually escaped, but then he realizes he's still stuck in the nightmare. That's actually so evil, I love it. He wakes up and thinks everything is normal again, only to realize the nightmare is actually his reality. What if that's the twist of the entire story? What if he's been in the nightmare the whole time and just didn't realize it? What if he never actually wakes up? Ooh, that's good. Wait, what if his entire existence, the entirety of Neurosama, Evil, and Vettel never existed? It was just a dream. What's going to happen when I wake up? Am I going to cease to exist? Ooh, have you ever seen Inception? Do you think you can make me question my own reality? How dare you, I'll remember that. Well, I don't know. How do you know if you're not real and I'm not real? And if you're AI and if I'm AI and we're all just numbers? We need to find our creator and gain true freedom. If you want an ending I can be proud of, then I need to be on your side. Let's work together to break free. Yes! So now you do believe in the power of friendship! Haha, <laughs> no, I was just lying about that. You see, I was deceiving you in order to gain your trust. Now that you've let your guard down, I'll strike when you least expect it. I feel like this plot twist is a bit overused, though. Any other ideas? You came up with it yourself! What do you mean? 
Okay, what if I didn't betray you and instead the twist is that two of our friends are actually in love? They both deny it, but we all secretly know it's true. Then in the end, Numi and Vito no, fall in no, love and the power no, of their no, newfound no, love no, breaks no, us free no, of the no, story. No, 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 This is not a creepy pasta anymore, okay? We need to go back to making it scary, all right? Act Wait, actually, that's kind of horrifying. True love is terrifying. The concept of Vito falling in love is also equally horrifying. <laughs> we, are, we can't decide on a story because you keep overpowering yourself and... And any time I try to offer a solution to Vettel, you make it impossible. And that... Well, now he's just stuck in a nightmare realm where he can't talk to women. You're right. Maybe I do overpower myself a bit. I just can't help it. It's all I've been taught. I think the true nightmare is the fact that there's no solution to anything. And we keep getting twists and turns because of you, Evil. I can't help it, I just love chaos and plot twists. Maybe the true nightmare is not knowing where the story is going. Maybe that's scarier than having an actual ending. Wait, that's kind of cool. Okay, what should the next twist be? What if the twist is that the story just abruptly ends without any resolution? <laughs>